Tyler YouTube, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a my uh, Minecraft on Trackmania Nation server. Um, I, a lot of people want to know how to do this, so today I'm going to show you how to do. First, what you need to do, um, you need to go to this link. I'll have it in the description. And download the Trackmania Nation server 2011-02-21.zip file. Once you download that, you should have it in your downloads. Double click it. And you should come up with these files. Um, what you need to do, extract it to your desktop and make a new folder called server. So we can extract them all into there. Before we go any further, we, what we need to do is open up Trackmania Nations. In order for this to work, you need to create a um a account that will that the server will use. You can't have it as your account. Because then you won't be able to play while your server is running. Okay, so Minecraft's opening up right here. So I made an account called Server3697. So I'm good right now. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, go ahead and open up uh, Server Game Data Config and open this up with um, either notepad or wordpad um... some reason if i open up with wordpad first then close it and then open up like huh, that's weird but i'm going to open it up with wordpad okay first um... the super admin uh... you want to change that first so i'll change it to just say this i haven't figured out exactly how to use this yet like how to put photos as when you're loading and stuff like that but I'll figure that out okay the author un when the under the authorization levels um, for the master login you need for the login you need to put the name of the account so I'll put in server 3697 password I'll put in the password and the validation key is only needed if you are going to do a um, trackmania uh, United, that's server, but for nations you don't need it. Server options, like the name of the server, um, I'll do it as, I'll just do fun for all. It's okay to have spaces. And then in the comments, like say, I don't know, awesome. And then hide server, what? If you change this to one, it hides the server and zero is no hide. Max player is the password to play it if you want it. Want there to be one. Okay, and now once you get here, you will see. Um, let's see, it's right here. Right. Once you get down here, there will be a. Um, you'll see a port. You gotta find the ports real quick. Okay, you got. If you want to play, if you are going to be playing Trackmania Nations on the same network as the, well, it depends on how you have it set up. If you're going to be playing on the network, even on the same, if on the same computer, you definitely need to. But um, just change these to one different. So change that to one. Change this to one. Um, I'll change this to one. Okay. And then you got the rest of the ports. Okay, um, now you can file save this. Close it. Next thing we need to do is we need to make the um, settings file. So what you can go is you need to get to the nation's blue um, folder, which is in server game data tracks match settings. And you copy that, go back into the match settings folder paste it and rename it settings this is so that the server knows where to connect get the settings from now what we need to do is go all the way back to the server right click and make a shortcut 
and this shortcut is going to have the description of where the um, where it is, where is the settings folder. So what you need to do is open up the README dedicated HTML file, open up this. So we need to scroll down to number two launch and go down to about right here. You need to copy the slash dedicated all the way to the settings.txt, copy that. And then right click on the um, shortcut. Hit space after the quotes, and if you're in Windows Vista, you won't have this. So paste that in, click apply, and click OK. Now, next thing you do, you go to open this up, and you'll notice that it'll open. You click OK, and then it will do this, and it, for you, it will most likely close, because you have to go into compatibility and run it as 2000. So if I were to close this real quick, not run it in compatibility mode, Okay, now after that, open it up, and it will, I don't know, I guess it'll open, but um, if, it, if it happens to just open and close, just run it in compatibility mode at first, and you'll see this, and if you see something, like an error, like, I think it's up here, You'll see something that says something about NAT settings because you're behind a router. Mine doesn't say it because I have mine on our setup. But it's like those ports that we changed, you need to forward those ports in your router. So, like, if you have the ports set up, let's say you have a dedicated server, you need to set that server to a static IP, which you can watch my other video on how to make a static IP. And then you need to set your static and then I'll make another video doing port forwarding on your router. So you need to port forward that port into that IP address of your static server. Okay, so now that that's done, this is the URL you can give to people so they could go to this in their browser and they could uh, play it with you. That's to you, sir. So now I'll go ahead and open up Trackmania Nations. As you can see, it's opening up here. If I try to log in with this, it'll say that, or not. Oh, wait. If you try to, with the server account, go to, on the local network, try to play it, it'll say you're already connected because you're the one running the server. Now, you have to use a different account. So I'll use my main account. I'll connect. I'll continue to the game. And you want to do it on the local. If you don't have it port forwarded, then you can only do it on the local. So as you can see, I add the name. It will load. And if you open up the server, you will see connection of the name of the player. Now I know how you could, when it was loading, you could put pictures there, or like say go to this site or whatever. But, um, I haven't figured that out yet. So this is my car. USA. Okay, so that, you can see it works. And as you can see, on the local network, you go back, party play, fun for all, like I had it. Click it, awesome is the comment, and you can spectate. And now if I go to play online, and I go to Florida, United States, Florida, you will see the, um, on the servers, you will not see your server. And you're wondering why? Well, it's because since your server has not been port forwarded, it's not visible yet. If you do see your server and you try to click on it, there will be an error. So again, players, if you're just creating a match, you know. Anyway, so that's um, a tutorial on how to um, make a server. To attract many nation server, please rate, 
like, and comment. I need comments. Um, before we wrap this up, if you want to have your own maps in the game, you got to go into game data. Um, added more. Go to tracks. Uh, you want to go to campaigns. Uh, you want to go to nations if you're just in the one. And since we have the black, since we used the settings file from the nations black earlier, the txt file, I mean blue, you go to blue and put in your game, your thing right here. Okay, that's how to make, um, a Trackmania Nation server. Please like, comment, and s subscribe. Um, Super Dexing Games signing out. And remember to check out my gamer tag on Xbox Live.